This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Do this. This app should let the user scroll through their classes, but the left button isn't working. Oh no. Read the starter quote. Add code to the left button so that the user can scroll back to the left after scrolling to the right. All right. Let's hit run real quick. Biology. Exciting. Algebra. Woohoo. Social studies. Gym. Uh oh. They only have four class. Oh, it must be blocks. Get ah, I'm stuck in gym. Oh. I would not be good. That was not my best class. I mean, come on, I'm a computer guy. Anyways, all right. So we got to add some code here. Let's take a look. Um, hint, use the list scrolling pattern. Okay. Helps and tips. List scrolling pattern. So if you forget, that's always there. And it's helpful. And it's tipful. Okay, so yeah, plus, plus, minus, minus. All right, let's take a look. Nope. Instructions. Yeah. All right. So what it's doing right now is it's saying right button when the right button is clicked on the event that the right button is clicked. What happens? Well, if index is less than what's index, this value here, it's zero. Here's our class lists or array. Index is set to zero at first, which is great because remember lists start at zero. So biology is at the location of zero. There might be four things in this list. One, two, three, four, but there's indexes of 0, 1, 2, and 3. So good. Index starts at 0, which is our first class. If index is less than class length minus 1, class length minus 1, class length would give us, if you ask the computer to, to tell us what the class length is, well, class's length is 4. Because that just counts what's in the how many things are in the list. 1, 2, 3, 4. It doesn't start at 0. It's just counting how many things it's storing. Okay? So if we want to know the end of a list, if we say class length and we use that as an index, I ask the computer to go to index four. Wait a minute. Zero, one, two, three, four is nothing and I'd get an error. So if you want the end of a list, you always do classes.length or list.length and then you take away one just to shift everything over since indexes start at zero. All right. So as long as the index is, is less than classes length minus one, so as long as it exists for us, right? Index is equal to index plus one. All right, and that means once we hit gym, right, it's not gonna, okay, well, gym would be uh, an index of three. So we hit gym and I click the arrow, the right arrow, and it says if index, and I'm at three, so it would be if three is less than the length of classes, one, two, three, four, so four minus one, which is three, then add to it. Wait, three isn't less than three, so it doesn't run the code inside the if, and it drops to the bottom, it updates the screen, but the screen's the same because it won't let us change anymore because we're at the end. So how we can uh, change that is doing something very similar to this, actually. I'm going to go into control and grab an if. And now what we need is we want to know if we are at the end of the list. Okay. So we're going to do if, I mean, we need to know if we're at the beginning of the list. Unless you want to loop it around, which I don't think we're doing. So, boom. If index is greater than zero, right? So, as long as we're greater than zero, because if we're at zero, there's nowhere to go. Look, nothing. Nothing's here. Nothing. Well, that, you know what I mean. Okay? So, that would be an issue. All right. So, as long as the index is greater than zero, then what do we want to do? Well, we're going to do this. We're going to allow them to take the index and do index is equal to index minus one. By the way, I saw that they used, and this still, this would work as well. If I were to write its programming shorthand, index minus minus, this is the same thing. This code right here, index minus minus, is identical to index equals index minus one. They both mean take the index, set it equal to whatever index used to be equal to minus one. And we're subtracting one because that will allow us, okay, if we're at algebra and you change the index back one, zoop, we're at biology. So we subtract one and then we need to ask it to update this, the screen because this code right here doesn't. So we change the index, but then it never shows on the screen because we never use that changed index to set the text over here. All right. So let's go into function, function call, and update screen. Let's give it a shot. Biology, algebra, social studies, gym. 
social studies, algebra, biology, woohoo! And Mr. Kaiser's not stuck in gym anymore. <laughs> cool. I think we did it. Uh, use, yep. Awesome. Onward!